Here we go, number four. Avino silver and gold mines. I can't imagine what they own. Although, you know, I, I, I have said before that I like companies where you can easily tell what they do from their name. And you know what? On that front, these guys do not disappoint. But they do disappoint with their share price. Because it has gone almost nowhere in the last year. In fact, it was it it okay, so yeah, it 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 dropped down to its COVID lows back in September of 2018. Very nice. <laughs> uh so right now it looks like it's only barely gotten back to the level it was back in twenty early twenty eighteen. Um even though even though it's been slipping quite a bit recently. I'm gonna take you back all the way. Wow. The, so, debuted all the way back in 20... Oh, oh, wait. Uh, 2005, looks like? And in this time, in this 20... Uh, no, not 15. 16 years. It's, it's topped out at a whopping... At a whopping $3.50. What? And that was shortly after IPOing. It's all been downhill since then. In fact, look at these ridiculous lows. This is even worse than the COVID lows. It's like, hey, look, guys, we're an awesome company. It's 20, it's 2005. We're amazing. In 2000, oh, 2008. Okay, yeah, you know what? I was, I was, I was about to make a quip about these guys just turning terrible in the turn of 2008, but everything turned terrible in 2008. So you know what? Never mind. Um. Well, build back up. 2010 was a good year. Kind of up and down. Kind of yeah. I like I, like I said like I said before. I'm a chart guy, and I I don't. It's not really a chart to be enthused about. Um, quarter two results. So yeah, for, uh, 2020. Yeah, 2020 was rough, and you can explain that on COVID. What the hell is up with 2019 here? In fact, I wonder if the trouble that this 2019 uh, er, uh, revenue and earnings represent... Well, not so much, not so much the revenue, but the earnings at least uh, represents. And actually, come to think of it, that's kind of weird because the revenue is basically in line with previous years. So why this sudden loss, huge loss this year? I kind of I want to know what happened there, but I'm never going to know because the articles don't go back that far. Um, but I wonder, if that began in, I wonder if that began in 2018. That would explain why... If I go back to the five-year chart, that would explain why... Uh, this downslide began in mid to late 2018. Maybe people saw 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 the bad things coming. Uh, saw saw the bad 2019 reports coming, and that's why that's why every, everyone got out. But what I want to look right now is the quarterly, and this is not what I expected to see. This is not what I expected to see. This is not what I wanted to see. What I wanted to see was slowly increasing revenues, as you know. Things you know come out of the come out of the height of COVID. I know we're really not out of COVID, but you know, I mean, I mean, we'll never be we'll never be out of COVID. We've never been out of the flu. The flu still exists. All right, you know, whatever. I'm going off on tangents. Um, but yeah, this is not this is not what I wanted to see. It almost looks like 2021 is going to end up being worse than 2020. Yikes. Where do these guys have mines? In Canada. They operate silver mines, they operate gold mines, and they operate maple mines. Arguably the most important mine of them all. Yeah, I'm not... I don't like this. This is going to be a sell. I already know it. going to be a sell. Well, let me look at, take, take a look at one of these reports. Maybe it can explain why in quarter two it had zero revenue. Wonderful. All right, let, let's see. Let's see what this guy has to say. Who is this guy? I don't see a name. I don't see a name here, but let's see. 
During the second quarter, the company focused on the steps necessary for resumption of operations. These include hiring mine workers, upgrading to improve recoveries in the mills, testing the mill circuits, and cleanup of equipment, grounds, and facilities. Said, oh, here's a name, Dave Wolfen. But that's a cool name, by the way. Um, we were extremely pleased to, and also, so yeah, I'm going to run out of time, so I'm not, so I'm not even going to bother reading the rest of it. Something that it did say in there is that they're working on resuming operations. And what that implies is that they are not having any operations right now, which explains why there's zero revenue. So, uh, and when will they resume? Ugh. Who knows? Who knows? And even if they do, is it still going to be... Is it still going to be as... T is, it still gonna, is it still going to be terrible? Or, you know, are they going to go gangbusters? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know, and... Without, you know, without a crystal ball in front of me, I don't think in good conjures I can give us anything anything but a sell. I could be, I, I could be wrong. They could, they could recover faster than I expect them to. Faster than anybody expects them to. And I'll end, I'll end, and I'll end up look, looking like a fool. But I am not willing to hang my hat on that. I really am not. And considering the fact that... It is, it's, it is still at one of the lowest price points that it has been in its 16-year history. It seems like a lot of other, a lot of other people don't really think that also. So, that's what I think.